please do not attempt to adjust your screen. There is nothing wrong with your device. Please stand by for transmission. We all have things that are important to us. Humanity is often divided in many ways about what is considered important. However, once in a while, maybe once in a generation, something happens that is so great, so important, so momentous, that those lines of division, those lines of separation completely disappear. When that happens, the only thing that matters is that you were there, that you were a part of it, that you were involved in history actually being written. Today, ladies and gentlemen, is one of those days. Today is the great event of our time. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you Farming Simulator 19. <laughs> oh, yes. Look. We have it. We have it right here in front of us. It is pristine in all its glory. This is what we're going to be looking at for the next two years. Look at this. It's absolutely beautiful. We're going to... I, I have altered some options. I think I've got it already. We have a whole load of save game slots here, all waiting to be used. So we're going to go into the first one, just like that. We can be a new farmer, we already own land in Ravenport, and we can learn how to play Farming Simulator. We can be a farm manager, we start with substantial farm, uh, substantial funds, but no land. No buildings, no equipment, nothing. Or we start from scratch. Starting's capital is very limited, you don't own any land or equipment, and the economy is tough. I'm thinking for this one, we'll go with the new farmer because that's going to give us more options much more quickly and that's all that really counts right now. So let's go and have a look at this. We want to have a look at Ravenport. Here is my little character right here. Unfortunately, I can't change my hair color, but I have selected a green shirt. We, you can change the color of your shirt. You can choose whatever you want. So we can go through there and we can do that. You have a number of different characters that you can select so you can be pretty much anybody that you want. Whoever you want to be. So I've, I've gone for the person that most closely represents me. I have quite short hair. I don't like long hair. Uh, anything that requires a brush or a comb of any kind is too much like hard work for me. So I keep mine nice and short like this. And then we, we can have a hat if we want. Now the great thing about the hat, farming simu simulator or land... Landvert... I think it's Landwirtschaft Simulator. I, I don't know what the simulator is. Agco, Agrisem, Agrimaz. Okay, look, you, you get the idea, and we've only got to be there so far. So you can choose anything you want for your cap. We're not going to do that. We're going to go capless. I'm going capless this time. A jacket. We can have a leather jacket if we want. I don't think we need one. And we can have shades. So if you want to throw some shade on these things, then you can... I don't want to sh wish to throw shade on the proceedings, so I'm going to keep it like this, and we will continue. I have very luckily been given the John Deere, the Mahindra Retriever Limited Edition, and the Mahindra Retriever. So we're going to, those, this is what the mods list looks like at the moment. I don't know if there's going to be uh, any difference to this later on. I, I, I have no idea whether or not it's, um, you, you'll be able to like go through and uh, select which ones in groups or anything like that. I, I don't really know how that's going to work because uh, we don't have any mods. Let's get into this game. Ravenport, are you ready? Welcome to Farming Simulator. Would you like to start a short guided tour? This will show you the basics of the game. I'm a gamer. I never take tutorials. We should know this by now. Right, if you'd like to start the guided tour later, start a new career in Ravenport and you will be asked again. Okay, let's have a little look around. Most of the controls are the same as we're already familiar with. Okay, we're already familiar with them. I do have my steering wheel attached. I have tried to map it out correctly. Um, other than that, I don't really know. I haven't looked at anything. I haven't done anything. We own some land. Let's press escape and have a look. Now, this is looking different. This is very, very different. We can zoom in and out. We can move it around. 
This is very, very different. And also the symbols. I mean, I've already been seeing these symbols coming up on the different um, things that we've been looking at. And I, do, I have seen some of this in the, um, the, the live streams that have been happening. So I've sort of seen bits, but I haven't seen very much. I haven't looked at very much of the live streams. I'm really sorry, Simulate. Um, I, I, I have watched you a little bit. I don't know. Virtual Farmer and uh, Rainbow Dave are the other two. But it's Simulate who I know mostly. So I, I'm just I'm really sorry, Simulate. Uh, and the other two as well. But uh, Simulate is the one that I know and I have spoken to. So, um, yeah, I haven't actually watched him very much because I wanted this to be a surprise for me. Uh, so we got soil composition. Now, this here, look, we got two stages of fertilizer on here and then we got lime. So I'm wondering if lime has replaced one stage of fertilizer. We've also got weeding on there. There's no weeding on there at the moment. Uh, if we go into here, we've got, oh no, this, oh, I see. Right, this is all of your help. Ah, so this this does explain. Oh, we got pictures of various machineries. We got root crops. Right, we we, we go. You got everything that you want. This right here. Look, I have seen this already. This is one bit that I have seen. You can actually alter the keyboard controls and gamepad controls from within the game. You can do it from within the game. Ha <laughs> ha. Right, general settings. Okay, so the help window is F1. And we are in Ravenport in the US, so we're going to want miles for that, and we're also going to go for acres for our area units rather than hectares. Uh, apologies to anybody in Europe, um, mainland Europe, because in the UK we still work in acres as well. We do miles and acres, and then everything else is metric. We're a bit strange like that over here in the UK. Uh, so we got euros, we got dollars, and we got pounds again. So we will go for dollars on here. Uh, interactive zone. Uh, no, we don't want to change that. And uh, vehicle volume, environment. Radio is off. I'm keeping that off. I don't want to risk it. Last time, uh, I'm pretty sure that radio is going to be um, like copyright music. So, yeah, we, we don't want to get involved with that. Uh, switch to trains is on. You can switch that one on or off if you want to. Steer now. This is the bit. This is the bit that I want to show you. Steering back speed. Okay. This is very, very cool. It's absolutely awesome, in fact. And it's something that I, I really want to show you in a minute. Uh, so, that's... Everything that I want to do on there, and then we've got here real-time traffic is on, dirt is on normal, automatic engine start, we all switch that off, uh, stop and go braking, keep the brake button held to brake and automatically start reversing. I'll switch that one off there so that it, um, you, if you press the brake it stops and then you've got to take your foot off the brake and start again, I think is how we're going to, no, actually I'll tell you what, we'll do it like this to start with. Uh, helper will switch that one off and off and off there. Fuel usage can stay low. Switch that off and switch that off there. Lime required. Periodic plowing required. Uh, plant growth fast. Let's slow that down to normal because fast is normally too fast, isn't it? Right. Periodic plowing, crop destruction. There's no option for changing between one and two or three Layers of fertilizer. We've got off there for lime or on. Periodic plowing off or on. Crop destruction is built into the base game, as is the plant withering. Weeds. <laughs> this is so awesome. What do we got over here? There's our stats. There's our contracts. Animals. Finances. Vehicles right there. And this is the silos that we own. Silos other, total capacity right there. We've got a few different. So we've got wheat, barley, oats, cotton. Uh, oh, that would be um, OSR canola. Oilseed, rape, or canola, depending where you're from. Sunflowers, soybeans, corn, or maize, depending where you're from. And uh, we've got potatoes, sugar beets. Now, this is the one that I'm not sure about. From the symbol, I can never remember. That's obviously that's sugarcane, and you got milk. And the great, you you sell the milk yourself, and you've got four different places you can go to sell milk. Wool down there at the spinnery, and also the uh, cotton down there. That's also at the spinnery. Um, that's going to be effluent or no slurry and manure, and then loose silage eggs. You can choose wood chips right there at the sawmill. 
So this one right here. Now, I'm assuming that this one is um, grass. No, that one there is loose hay. And then that one there is loose grass. Or, oh, no, 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 no. Straw and grass. It's got to be. It's got to be straw and grass, hasn't it? Grass there with the little birdie symbol in it. And straw there with the spike symbol in it. At least that's what I would assume. I don't know. So fertilizer, you've got two stages of fertilizer. And we've got lime. And you've got plow. Okay, so I've, I've just spent like 10 minutes looking at menus. And I haven't done anything yet. What is this? What are you? You strange and weird and wonderful thing. <laughs> We're in Farming Simulator 19. We're actually running around. Look. We have a barn. We have an actual barn right in front of us. Let's let's go to the barn. Uh, F1 is still the help menu. Right. F1's not doing anything. Can I go? I, I, I cannot get into the barn. Let me in. Okay. I'm not allowed to go into this barn. I don't know why I'm not allowed into this barn. I feel I should be. So we've got a field of wheat right here. Ooh. <gasps> Look. You approach the field. It gives you the info. Can we turn that on and off? Does it, does that stay there continuously down in the bottom? I'm guessing while you're running around, it does. It tells you. So fertilize 0%, weed 0%, fruit type canola. It's already been harvested and it is owned by us. So then we go dancing over into this field. We own it. It's wheat. It's ready to harvest. Fertilized 100%. Weeds are on 0%. We've got some tractors over here. I'm going to show you the tractor in a minute, okay? Start this bad boy up. Listen to the sound of that. I may adjust the sound for the next episode to uh, turn it down a little bit. Now, I'm going to do this first bit on the keyboard, okay? I've got my steering wheel all attached. But I'm going to do this on the... On, look at the details on the engine. Look, you, you see all the movement on the engine and everything. And also the drive shaft at the bottom down there going to the four-wheel drive. But no, this is the bit. Right, we stand still. And I turn steering wheel. I've taken my finger off of the keyboard. Okay, my finger is nowhere near the keyboard. I don't know how to prove this to you. I'll, I'll, let, let, look. There. Can you hear that? Right, I'm clapping. I'm clapping. So now, if I start driving forward, it slowly returns to straight. So it does go back to dead center. But, oh my goodness me, is this not a serious improvement or what? If you want to move it faster, then you just use the other keyboard or you just let it straighten itself up. So you go like that and then as you go around the corner, it straightens itself up. Is that not absolutely wonderful? Is that not absolutely amazing? Okay, now I'm using my steering wheel. Ah, right. If I zoom back out a little bit. <laughs> we got a lovely zoom. We've got... Look at this. Look at the distance. The draw distance on this. Okay, there's a lot of draw distance on that. I may have to reduce that a little bit. I don't know what that's going to do to the actual quality of the video. Whether or not we have to reduce that down or not. I don't know. Let's back this bad boy in here. There we go. And then you hook that one onto there. So we've got, like, did you see that? I've got this down the bottom. It's telling me what to use to attach or not attach. And right, at the moment I've got the... So I, I press the brake and then it immediately starts going backwards. Might or might not be good. I'm not really sure. We'll see. But yeah, so you got that down there. I don't know if that is an option that we could switch off if we wanted to. Help window off at the moment, right? Press F1, you bring up that help window up there. So you've got to toggle cruise control, attach. But then we've also got this other one down the bottom. And I don't know if that one would stay there or if it would move or what. Whether there's a help... Oh, help icons, right. No. Back you up. No, that's not help icons. Okay, so I don't know what the help icons are. Uh, oh, field info. 
There we go. So that, that's the field info bit. Easy arm controls. Turns on simplified controls for cranes. Shows info about the fields. Show yellow and black markers around interact. You could turn those on and off? Ha ha ha! Okay. <laughs> this is so cool! This is so seriously cool. Right, we'll bring you over to there a minute and we'll stop you right there. And we'll go through and we'll have a look at our New Holland Combine right here. Let's start this bad boy up a minute. Inch you forward a bit there. There we go. Right, we'll start you up there. Now, let's just bring this one up. So we got disable the straw swath. Straw swath is on then. Lower the header, unfold the harvester. We're familiar with all of these different machines and all the different bits that they do. We know how they work. So we've unfolded right there. And I'm going to hire the worker. Ah, hang on. Let's lift that one up. We'll put that one up like that. There we go. And he's already dead lined up. So I'm just going to press H and I'm going to hire the worker. There we go. How is this worker going to work? Did you see? I think that the grass did actually get damaged. We've got straw going on the ground. Zoom back out a little bit. Let's watch our worker in all his glory. It's 8.43 in the morning. We're a bird. Birds are flying up into the air. We've got the mists off in the distance. And we are doing, we, we, we're hard at work. We're actually hard at work. Now what's he going to do? Does he go round? Does he, I, I'm assuming he will move up and down in strips. He moves straight back. Then he got to the end of the field. He moves straight back so that we didn't get a great big lump of everything. Look at that. It's pushing all of the crop out of the way as he drives over it. We've got like proper animation as he's driving over that crop. It's pushing in the right direction for it all as well. They're turning, obviously, you know, we're turning inside the field so that we're inside the field boundary. This is something that we do want. This, this is a good thing, right? May not seem like it, but it is a good thing. Because if you didn't have that, if it was turning outside of the field boundary, it would try to get outside the field boundary every time rather than keeping the turn neat and tidy. This, this is a very cool thing. I like this. I'm very pleased with this. And you can see down in the bottom corner. I, 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 we need to alter the sound level. It's like... I have reduced the sound level of the vehicles by a good margin. I think that's going to be okay. We've still got the environmental sounds in the background. Let's, let's skip out a minute and leave him carrying on there a minute. You can still hear all of the environmental sounds in the background. This is very, very beautiful. And we're going to go and get our tractor that's been sat here. This is a Fiat, Fiat 1300 DT. So we'll take our Fiat 1300 DT. And we got a Stroutman SEK 802. SEK? SEK. SEK. <laughs> Stroutman Sec 802 is what we've got right here. So we're going to bring this one on around here like this. Oh, this... Yeah, look, 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 look. We've got crop destruction turned on, haven't we? Look underneath the wheels of the tractor. Are they doing it? Stop. Stop! Oh. Oh. Right, that is something that I have noticed. If you use the keyboard steering, you know when you put going uh, the cruise control? Right, I'll, I'll do that in a minute. I'll press number three, and I'll put cruise control going. See, it's turned the number orange down there. And I put cruise control going. Right, I'm turning around using keyboard steering, and then I'm push forward with the keyboard, and it disables the cruise control. There is another patch coming before this game is actually released. There's a full patch coming before the game's released. Hey, hey! Come back here, I want that grain. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. There we go. Right, okay. I got it. I got it. You're mine. Um, 
Unfortunately, at the moment, it doesn't auto-disable with my steering wheel, with my pedals. Um, I don't know whether there's something I've overlooked or something like that, or whether it's something that uh, is going to be patched or what have you. Um, but th there's that one little detail that I've overlooked. I, I just overlooked it then. Um, obviously, I did have to... I have looked at... The, I did sort of pop into the game in order to set up my steering wheel and stuff like that. I didn't go and look at anything. I haven't spoiled any surprises for myself. The only thing I did was just sort of figure out the steering wheel so that I've got my steering wheel on ready for first day. But the only thing is my cruise control setting doesn't seem to disable. There we go. Right. What is 6 plus... Uh, start overloading 6 plus 4 wheat. Pretty really sure what 6 plus 4. Uh, it might just be... Right. I can do that. Take it. I can tip anywhere as well. Well, I'm going to do that a minute, and then... Why is it saving content? That's another thing that we now have. Look, auto-save. You can auto-save every 15 minutes. And... Off. There we go. There's a very specific reason I have that off, by the way. It's because if I have a problem with recording, and the game crashes... Um... Very often, my recording crashes at the same time, so I need to be able to do everything all again. Uh, so I don't ever have autosave on just about any game I play that I record. I don't use autosave because otherwise bad things can happen. Uh, especially if I don't have multiple saves on the same save. Now, what have we got? Oh, I was looking at this, wasn't I? That was that was the one I was wanting to look at. So we've now got 12,000 litres of wheat in here. And 12,000 barley. 11,000 oats. What are we going to plant? We're going to have to find something to plant. This is what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to find something to plant. Plus, we're also going to have to find a way to, to, to pick up all of this wheat. Or all of this straw on the ground. So wh while that one is going... I'm actually going to switch that tractor off because it doesn't seem to auto-switch... So leave that tractor on a minute, and we'll see what happens there. Now, if you have a look down in the bottom right-hand corner, I'm noticing that we've got fuel. We've got a fuel gauge, but we've also got a repair gauge on the other side. So I'm assuming that the tractor deteriorates over time, and then we've got to do something about that. That is the only assumption that I can reasonably make on this. So we've got an Amazon right here. I'm going to assume that the big box at the bottom is something that's only available on... That is on, like, the, the new player version. And then more advanced versions won't have that. At least that's what I'm assuming. I could be completely wrong on this. Never make assumptions. Never, ever, 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 ever make assumptions. And then if you feel that you should make an assumption after that, just don't. But look here. Crop destruction is actually crop destructing the grass. Look! we crop destructing the grass. This is so cool. Let's go for a little walk, shall we? And... Yes. If you have a look at this. You see this? I am actually pushing the, 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 the grass. The, the stuff. I'm pushing it over in front of me as I walk around. It is actually being pushed over in front of me. The only thing that I can't do to turn this into a proper survival game is pick the flowers and find some berries off in the, in the, in the corners. And, and then we will have a proper survival game with tractors. That's literally the only thing that we need now, is the ability to pick berries. Right, what are we going to plant? Well, we got, we got wheat down there. We don't have any wheat up here yet. So let's plant some wheat in this field. It's, it's telling us that we're ready to go planting some wheat in this field. So I think, really, we ought to listen to it. And we can plant some wheat. I'm just going to press H on this one. I'm going to let the hired help have a little go on that. And we'll step back and we'll let it carry on. So we've got... It's coming over the terrain. The terrain is not perfectly smooth. It's, it's moving around. Is this the... the uh, there are a lot of birds. So now what's going to happen with the hired help? We come out round the end. We're not coming off the end like a big long distance or anything like that. Just a, enough to be able to turn round. Keep us tidy. And you're going to come back up onto there. 
and then you carry on. So I'm I'm kind of trying to see how much of this is like the terrain, the ground modification, not ground modification, the ground response mod that's now been built into the game. It's bouncing around a little bit. It's not bouncing around a huge much. Hu huge much? It's not bouncing around a huge amount. So let's have a look and see what kind of options we've got. If there's anything about uh, ground response. We've got time scale, traffic. Right, the ground response thing that we've got here. that The movement, that the realistic kind of jumping uh, around on the ground. That seems to now be built into the game. It's not an option or anything that you can switch on and off anymore. There was another thing. Yes, look. See the angle I am with the train, uh, with, with the train, with the combine. Okay. I go back to this one. Now I'm going to turn this one around to here. And then I'm going to go to the combine. Same angle. And then I go back to here. Okay. We've got a new option now. Uh, we've got the dynamic vehicle camera. The camera will always, will try to stay horizontal to the world. The vehicle camera. Uh, and you've got reset vehicle camera as well. Now I normally switch that one on so that it resets every time so we come back out of there and then i'll go yeah so it, it automatically switches to the same position behind the vehicles every time i switch over and then i can move it around if i want to and i just find that easier mainly for right this one i didn't set this one moving did you set this one moving because i didn't it seems to be slowing down now. I can speed it back up again, I suppose. I can set... Helper D has completed their task. We've got... Whoa, 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 whoa. Look, top right, top. Uh, to top left-hand corner. Top left-hand corner. Look in the top left-hand corner. Can you see that? Can you, can you see what I can see? I'm pressing G to go through and select different machine... Uh, d d different things... I'm selecting different carriages. I got the one right at the, the uh, I got the one at the front, then the second one, then the third one, then the fourth one. How far back can I zoom on the train? This, this is as far back as I can go. And right, I'm looking at it as well. The other test that I want to do is right. Some terrain it moves the camera in. Some terrain it doesn't. We're now heading up. Ooh, excuse me. We're heading up this way. So trees, it doesn't seem to flick us in beside the trees anymore. But it does with some of the walls and stuff. Like that. So now if I come along here. See, I'm not being flicked in. The, the, the view of the camera. Oh, wow. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. That looks so cool. Okay. <laughs> that looks really awesome. Where are we? I went to slow down. Slow down. There's so much stuff. Okay, we've gone way past there now. Another station up there. I need... You're, you're speeding up. That's because... <laughs> We're going downhill. Can I unhitch? Ooh, this, this... Detaching tool is not allowed in this state. What state? Is it driving the train state? Or is it... Just because I'm here state? Now, can I choose a track? I'm slowing me down. I'm slowing me down. Right. Oh, wait. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Back you up. Back you up a bit, sunshine. Just a minute. We go. We go. We go the other way now. We go the other way. Go this way. Go forwards way. Now. I'm pressing sideways now. Do I get to change the direction the train is going? No, I don't. Let me just stop right there. Stop right where you are, sunshine. Detaching tool is not allowed. What? I want to. I want to leave it on the line so that I can go plowing through it at a later date. I'm going to leave that going at like nine miles an hour. And then I'm going to... This one has now stopped. I didn't switch that one off. So they do switch off automatically. The planting is going very well. i got a lot of birds on this field. I'm wondering if birds are a problem. They might be. 
Let's start you up a minute, and we will put our cultivator on. We've got the the sewer SB1000. We've got a one-ton weight on the front of this tractor. The Case Pro 7210. And we've got the Polymag on the back. Right. Let's bring our Polymag over here. And... Right, this time I'm going to put this one at a slight angle. And then I'm going to bring it round. And it does line itself back up again. You don't have multi-angle terrain. They already told us that there's not going to be multi-angle terrain in here. It's going to be um, straight angles that we're used to. And... I'm assuming that you'd be able to, like, mod stuff like that in later on. Uh, your modding is going to be fairly similar to what we've got this time. Some alterations in the XML file are going to be slightly different to what some of you are used to. Not a lot, though. There, there's not going to be a huge amount of difference. There, there's just going to be some slight differences. And I'll try and make a video on that uh, further down the line. When, once we've sort of figured out what the, the, the changes are. Now, we've got our help here, the 7210 Pro case. He's busy cultivating this field. He does look good. He does look good bouncing along like this, doesn't he? And he's not bouncing excessively either. He's, he's sort of going along quite smoothly there. I like that. 348 in wages. They're not worth $348, are they? Not for an hour. Hmm. Maybe I'm being a bit skinflint. Wait a minute. That one was driving along by himself just now. Why are you no longer driving along by yourself? I was thinking that maybe it was a new thing that they drive along by themselves. I'll start him going a bit faster. I'll do that. And then I'm just going to jump away. I'm going to leave him to it for a minute. I'm going to get this combine. We're done with our combine now. We just need to go and empty them out. So we've got 2,886 litres of wheat on board. So let's put out the spout like that. And we'll come whizzing on. Ooh, steady, steady, steady. Don't swipe your, um, your header off. That's, that's not a good start. We don't want to be wiping this, the, the header off completely. Tractor going away over there. We've got another tractor over in that field. He's nearly finished. We need to... There's so much stuff we need to do. We need to, we need to look at placeables. We need to look at buyables. We, we, we need to do a lot of things. We need to do a lot of things. Most of all... We, I, I, I don't know. What, what's, what's most of all? What, what, what do we want to do most of all? I absolutely have no idea. You watch this video and you tell me the things you want me to do. I need to know. What do you want me to do? We, we've got our house down there. There is an option, I believe, to go and go to sleep. I've seen... Um, uh, what, what's his name? I've seen Simulate looking at that. He, he went over to the house and he tried to go to sleep. And then he couldn't because it was the middle of the day. But there was an option there. Like, he could interact with it or something. And... What is this? What are you... I'm pressing F1. I'm not getting any... Any, any particular assistance? Let's let's climb up. Is there anything in here? <gasps> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do we have the infamous gold nuggets? We had gold coins. We had gold nuggets in FS17, didn't we? And then in FS15, we had gold coins. In FS, oh, there, see. It's that, but you, you press R for R, R for R, and you get to go to sleep. In FS13, seem to remember. Oh, we can go in the house. Can I pick stuff up? Ooh, a cat. I got, I got speakers. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, that's it. We're going out here. We're gonna have a party. No. Uh, right. We need, we need to set speakers up. Set speaker up there. You just get another one. Uh, in FS13, we had horseshoes. I remember the horseshoes. I remember finding horseshoes. I never got all of them, though. And FS13 was my first one, so I, I don't really know what else happened. Um, I'm, I think there were others. Let's put you down there. There we go. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Right, I'll pick you up there. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Oh, 
Yes. I didn't even know this was a thing. I didn't know. I didn't know that this was even going to be a thing. There we go. We'll put you down there. Drop. You can move things around. You can move things and fine-tune adjustment. Now, what happens when we save the game and, and, and we leave and, and we come back again? Right, we're going to bring this one out here so we can set our boom box up outside. So all I want is a boom box on the ground outside. I don't ask for much in life except for a boom box. Now, I got you. There we go. Right. Uh, rotate you around a bit like that. This actually looks like something from Fallout 4. Doesn't it? Does that... Oh, no, 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 no. You come back over here, sunshine. Where do you think you're going? Uh, put you... There. Back up this way a bit. Down. Don't, don't, don't fall over. That's no good. No! I said don't fall over. I specifically said don't. Not do. Don't. What well, part of don't do you not understand? There we go. Right. But seriously. Hang on. Crouch. There we go. Uh, does that not look like something from Fallout 4? <laughs> That's so cool. Right, we've got our boombox outside, so we, we've got the beginnings of our party now. Um, the TV does not Fallout 4 stuff. We, we, do, we, want the, we want the rest of the Fallout 4 things. We've got to hold all there. Can we, can we do something with it? I can pick it up. And... Right, yeah, we, we, don't, we don't want that one. And there's, no, there's nothing in here. Can, can I... What is this? Fruit juice. Okay, we, we can do the dishes. We've got other things. I can coffee maker now that's very important you do need your coffee makers in the morning we've got water drinkers over here and i'm loving the surfboard it's got to be said i am loving the surfboard it's a nice touch hammer right over here so what happens if i take the hammer and yeah we chuck that one up did that actually hit i'm, I'm pretty sure i heard that make a noise i don't know if it did or not now, I'm looking around for anything that we might have in here as, like, a um, owned by me fertilizer. We've got, that's, that's a, a, an air conditioning unit. So, i got another field over here. It's just owned by me. It, it doesn't actually have anything going with it. The train is still going. So, we'll leave that one going. Let's carry on. Okay, so we've got... Yeah, we got those over there. So unload here, tip side. I can then, I can shut that one off quite easily. Just press F1. That moves that one out of the way. And I'm going to bring this one over here. What we're going to do now is we're going to, this one's got a 15 miles an hour top speed. Let's go and see what the other tractors have got in the way of top speeds. Um, but I'm thinking, ah, yes, R is the right one. So we can go there. I can't go and select a different one because I've got wheat underneath it. So I've just got to put the wheat in there like that. And I've now got a trailer load of wheat ready to sell. Let's go over to this one. This one's got a 26 mile an hour top speed. So if I start this one, bring this one over. Now we've got wheat in this field. So I'm going to switch up to the next one. We're going to go to barley in here. And incidentally, that's Y to change that one. If you want it there, select seed is Y un unload. Un we, we, we have a, a seed drill. It says unload. Did am, am I the only one that's seeing this? Seriously, am I the only one that's seeing this? Right, I can... Oh, uh, 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 that's this the, the front and the back. Right, so I want to... Ah, right. I'm, I was looking for the little symbol where the tractor is with the, the, the bits on it. Where we've got the controls, top left hand, is there up in the corner. And you bring the controls out, it's still above it. So if I press G, it will switch over to the other one. Um, so we got that one. And then if I press N, nice animation on that. That is very nice. Oh, I like that. Ha <laughs> ha, that is very good. But it's... It says unload. I can unload. I'm right. Um, okay. Uh, I, I'm. 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 Uh, th this is just too much. 
I don't know if I can cope with this. I, I don't know. Right, we, we're going to unload a bit right here. We're, we're going to do this. Right, how do, how do I unload? I unload. <gasps> oh! Ah, right. So it's it's gone and what it's done is it's actually automatically put it into a bag right there beside us, which is very fortunate. So we've got now, we, we can take the seed out of the seed drill. This is such a beautiful thing. And then you can pour it back in again like that. And we've got 857 litres of seed back in our seed drill. So we're going to bring this one over here. Just going to back it round a little bit. And I'm going to bring it over to there. We're going to drop it down. And we're going to stop about there. And then we're going to go hide help. Set you going like that. Off you go, sunshine. Do your thing. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Thing of beauty right there. That's what that is. That's an absolute thing of beauty. I'm looking at this. Okay, I'm already planning. I'm already planning. That's definitely got to be one big field, isn't it? We, we've definitely got to join that together to be one big field. We can't just leave that as it is. There's no way we can leave that as it is. And, yeah, we're going to go for a... Well, I see, I don't know if we should go for an uneven shape or an even shape. We could do either. Now, let's have a look at you a minute. I'm, you stop there a second, Sunshine. I've got uh, a, a little question to ask you. Fold cultivator, higher worker, lower weight. Toggle cruise control. Lower cultivator, that's the one. I want the back one. Select camera. Ooh, yes, I forgot about in-cab driving. What is the in-cab like for this? So yeah, we got two we got two camera modes. Select tool. Right, so there's nothing else that I want there. I just wanted to see if you could create fields with the cultivator. You cannot. So let's lower you down there a minute and we'll see. There we go. Nice bit of space in the cab. You've got a seat right there. Basically you just put that arm down to um, become the seat. Or you have the poor person who sat in here with you. Sat back on there, right back behind you. Which is not comfortable, to say the least. It's really not. Let's bring you along this way. We've got working mirrors. Working very nicely. Can we adjust the mirrors? Because I can't see very well out of these mirrors. I don't know if you can adjust mirrors or not. It's very bouncy, though. Stop. 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 Whoa. Uh, yeah, you see what I did wrong there? Yeah, I, I pressed the cruise control on my steering wheel and then I, I was trying to press the brake and it didn't work. Uh, fortunately, I didn't quite go into the next field. So we're all okay with that. Now. Oh. That automatically folded. That's fully folded, that is. You first need to unfold the tool or cultivator. What? I want to lift you up. Why have I got to fold you to lift you up? really understand that right anyway that's done there so let's just bring you back around here and i'm gonna run this one down to the farm that one there can carry on doing the planting we're going to put the trailer onto this tractor and then we're going to go scooting off and find somewhere to sell our wheat it's gonna be the next thing that we do i don't know what other machinery we've got i don't think we have a great deal of other machinery around We've got some old barns and sheds and stuff down here. We've got a barn right there that we've got our combine in. Ooh. I'll tell you what we want to do. We want to go here and we want to have a look. So we've got the New Holland and the header. We've got the Raul Polymag 300. Case IH. Sewer SB. The Fiat and Stroutman. What about placeables? Say anything about placeables. Tell us where we've got... Wait, what's this? Railroad Silo East. Ah, oh, I see. Right, there's points of interest coming up on there. There. And there's points of interest. Yeah, right, okay. And then you've got that one, and then you've got this one here. Cell points. And then... Other points of interest. Right, that's just moving stuff on the map. That's not actually telling us what we've got down here. So I can remove those. 
and I can add those back in. If we zoom down, all uh, right, so you zoom in to be able to see them like that. Okay, and then vehicle overview here. What about the dollaries? Dollaries there. Animals, we don't have any animals yet. Tell you what, let's have a look in the shop. We want to press P for the shop. So we've got vehicles down here. Small tractors, trucks, potato technology, cotton technology. Small tractors, medium tractors, and large tractors. So look at the medium tractors. So we've got Case, New Holland. Case again. Steyer, John Deere, Dara, Veltra, Fent, Massey, Case, JCB, and more John Deere. Uh, back to the garage. Ah, this is owned items. Right, if I go through here, oh, look, large grain silo, easy shed one, the farm stable, farm storage, farm old barn, lizard farm shed, wow, we, we farm garage, farm shack, farm house, we got a lot of stuff here, we've got an awful lot of stuff, we've got decoration right there, okay, so that's the garage, the farm barn, the farm hut, uh, this is all decoration stuff in here. Doesn't do anything. It's decorative objects. So that's just to kind of make it look a bit homey, isn't it? Uh, back. There. Silos in here. We've got the grain silo. We've got a large. We've got a large silo extension. Hayloft. And we've got various bunkers and stuff like that. What's this? Objects. Big bags. Oats. Pig food. Ha <laughs> We, we can... Seriously, we can buy everything. Oh, no, we cannot buy everything. Oats for the horses, wheat for the chickens, and pig food. And then we've got seed, and we've got fertilizer, and we've got lime. That's in our bags. Right, so uh, back again. Pallets here, we've got a fertilizer tank, and we've got herbicide. Pallet saplings, poplars, sugarcane. Okay, bales, we can just buy bales, we've got the buy bale mod in the game, ah, oh, this is, <laughs> wait a minute, why can't we buy square bales of silage, we can make them, but we cannot buy them, 2,200 for a round bale of silage, good gravy, that's expensive, oh, wait a minute, right, camera, zoom, rotate camera, you can have a good look at this bale. You can properly inspect this bale before you go and buy it. To make absolutely certain that this is the bale you want to buy. No, I don't want to buy it. So we look at the round bale a minute. Customize. Let us customize our round bale of silage. Main color. Ha ha ha! Yes! Look at this! We can select the color that we want. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. This is so awesome. Wait a minute. Ah. Right, so you can buy them in stacks of eight. Just like that. No, I don't want to buy them. Not interested. Just stringing you along, mate. Not interested at all. Uh, right, so we've got tools. Let's go back to the tractors a minute. This is all the self-propelled machinery right here. We haven't even got to the rest of it yet. Mowers. Is the crone Big M. I'm going to be doing whole episodes where I look at this stuff, so don't worry about that. Back at large tractors. And we got the Case Optum. We got the 7R series right there. Steyer, Deutz, Massey Ferguson... New Holland, Fent, Valtra, John Deere, JCB, Case, Fent, John Deere again, Challenger, Fent, New Holland, Challenger, Challenger, Fent, Case, and there we go. Okay, we, we got a lot in there. Uh, let's go and have a look at the small tracks and see what else we've got in here. So we've got the Fiat. That's not something we've had before. Valtra, Fent, and Stara. Then we've got Linda. I am very pleased to see that the Linda has come back again. The um, new hull, we've got uh, Massey Ferguson as well. Armour track, that's new. We've not had that before. Fent and Valtra. Armour track. I'm not familiar with armour track. Tractors are required to pull 
No, it doesn't say very much about it. Okay, uh, back. And back again. Cotton technology over here. Now, wait, just a cotton picking moment. We've got a case right here. So we double click it, and that gives you a chance to have a look. All the way around this bad boy like this. Now, we can space to lease. Initial leasing costs. That's all down there. Or we can buy it. I don't actually want to do either of these things. I just want to look at it. Admire it in all its glorious glory. So we can back out of there a minute. Uh, we'll have a look at combines and stuff later. I'll do that in another episode. Wait a minute. Uh, where do I want to go? Owned. Garage. What do I, oh, no, it's that one. It's up there. See, it's these up here. This is where I want to go. Power harrows, trailers, beet technology, sugar cane, forage harvester, headers, auger wagons, potatoes, cotton, windrowers, weeders. That's going to be stuff that we're going to have crop protection right there. Subsoilers. Nice. Subsoiler prepares fields for the next time. Use instead of a plow. Fertilizer spreaders. Okay. We've got a selection of them. Back. Power harrow. Ooh. Got cultivators and you've got power harrows. Discar They've separated the harrows out into the various different components. So we've got disc harrows right here. They they prepare the ground, but you can go fairly quick with these things. Okay, ten well ish. Ten miles an hour for most of them. That one there is a bit slower. Uh back out of there, and then we can go into power harrow. Ooh, excuse me. We've got a Rob right there, and we've got a Coon. That one's nine. Right. Not really sure what, like, when obviously a power harrow is, is different to the other harrows. And then we've got the standard cultivators in here. We've got the various different sorts. Uh, quite a few different sorts. We've got the massive, great big horse ones. Bednar right there. Flexi coil. That might be just a little bit excessive for our farm at the moment. 24 meters wide. But it's there. It is an option. We've got manure spreaders right here. We've got the coon. We've got the... What's that? Samson. Is that Samson? I think it is. Farm tech. Another one of them. And uh, then we've got Stroutman right there as well. So that one there has a 32,000 litre capacity. This one's 22,900. And so why is that one saying the SB700? The others aren't saying anything, but this one's saying SB700. What is the SB700? Can I click on it? I can't. Right, that's our that's our garage there. I see. Right, you go back. It, just, it literally does just do that. It goes back. We've got... Ooh. <laughs> okay, we, we've got a lot of options in here. It does separate it out quite nicely. Low loaders, skid steer loaders, front loaders, head, uh, belt systems. The belt systems have all made a comeback. They're all back again. Uh, okay. Tractors. Brands. Trailers. Uh, uh, tools, rather. And then we've got in here sheds, farmhouses. Right, let's go. we got miscellaneous. Right, we want one of these. We're going to want one of these anyway, so we may as well get one now and put one in somewhere on the farm. Okay. So this stuff down here, this is decoration. We could actually hoik this stuff out and put something else in here instead. But I don't want to do that. I want to put one of these down here. Where are we going to put it? I reckon, really, we want to put this one down over here somewhere. Now, how, how, what's, the, what's the controls? Um, oh, that, that moves that around. To move me around, I'm using Q and E. Rotate me around, and then to rotate the actual machine around, I'm using the um, the keypad. Okay, so we bring that one over here, and like that. Then I can zoom in a little bit. Right, I'm going to put that one about there. I think. Drop you down there. Oh, that goes right onto the slope. Okay, I wasn't actually expecting that. I thought it was going to like level it out for me. It's supposed to level it out and show me the leveling thing. Let's, let's, we'll have a look at that. Okay, water station. Can supply water tanks with fresh water. So let's, let's get one of these. There we go. That's what I want. Cannot be placed here. Right, you... Now... Right, okay. This, this, is, this, this is good. This, this is very good. This is what I want. Cannot be... Uh, can't be placed here. 
Can't be placed up there. And then this, uh, you don't own this land. Object, this, uh, the object collides with an object. And then we, uh, collides with an object up there. See, we got, we got collisions over here. But if you look over here, you watch. Look at it here, right? Bring it out a minute. And it goes different color, but then it, it, it kind of like corrects itself. Can't place there, can't place there. The deformation of the terrain failed. Right? I'm looking around for more deformated it collides with objects down there. I'm deliberately I'm taking my time with this. I don't wanna I don't wanna like rush to have the, the, the deformed terrain go horribly wrong. But I still want you to see it. Because I've seen it in the live stream. So if you haven't seen the live stream, this, this is very cool. Right, we'll put that one down there. Now you watch. You watch the, the ground around it. See? It levels it all. It levels the terrain all the way around. I didn't actually expect it to be that extreme. Honestly, I didn't expect it to be, like, that much leveled. There's our... We'll, we'll be back to our tractor now. But what we'll do is if we... we we'll drive back... Over, we'll drive over there. I was going to go and um, sell that load of grain but i think we'll do that in our next episode there we've got our radio out there we've got our boom box that, that one's ready to go and it's this bit here see the terrain has now been completely moved in order to allow for this one to be placed unfortunately it's moved the terrain by quite a bit more than i thought it would i didn't think that it would actually do that much for the water tank and we got our little tiny little um water uh, pressure washer right back in there <laughs> oh, that is so cool. This... Uh, uh, right. This is just the first episode. We are going to be spending a lot of time having a look at this game. And I'm driving too fast again. So what I'd like to do is I would like to get hold of that trailer over there. I've got a cultivator right here, which... I think we need to go... We, we, well, I, I, I'm going to go and put this one in a shed a minute. Let me take this one over here. We're going to drop this one down here into this shed. And then once we've done that... So I'll just swing that round there like that. And then back you into the shed like this. Easy does it. Easy does it. There. And we want to lower you down. Why do I need to unfold? I just want to lower you down. But if I just drop you off. There. Haha, <laughs> I cheated. But no. So actually, I've got to unfold you before I can lower you down. Hang on a minute. Hang on, hang on. There's got to be another way to do this. Let's just bring you up there a minute. Uh, unfold. Lower. Now, if I press V to lower, it's saying that I've got to unfold it first. And... Is there anything else? Is there another option? Right, no, there's, there's, there is no other option at the moment. I suspect that's one of the things that will go into the first patch. We all know that this game has... Um, it's, this, this is a brand new game. We've got an absolutely brand new game. So there's going to be little tiny details that need to be patched. And... Other than, you know... Like, the, like every single game that's ever existed needs a patch. Even, well, look, I know, I know, back in the old days when you had a 12-bit game that required four lines of code, you didn't need a patch, right? There was no need for a patch because the game would come out perfect. There was only one type of computer that would ever run it, and so you didn't need a patch. These days, however, such things don't exist because you've got 10 million different users with 10 million different uh, computer configurations, so they're going to be bugs. And also, you've got 10 million lines of code for the game. So if you expect a game like this to be produced without any kind of patch being needed whatsoever, I'm very sorry, but you are delusional. It's not going to happen. You cannot produce a game of this caliber, of this quality, of this size, without needing a patch of some sort. Um, so I... I it, it does, it, it, it's a, a pet peeve of mine that we get, you do get so many people complain about the fact that games need patches these days. Well, what do you expect? You've got an absolutely enormous game that is just, like, phenomenal. 
I think we're going to go and sell to the restaurant. Let's, let's not get irate. Let's not get upset with people for anything. Uh, we've got the port grain elevator. We've got the restaurant. Actually, see, the restaurant is not too bad a price. So that is one one sixty. So we're going to go to the restaurant. And that is going to be a final thing that we're going to do with our very first look at this game. We will continue on with our looking at this game. Um, I don't know when my next episode will be out and done and ready for you. I'm hoping that I'll get another episode out and ready to you. Uh, well, this should, in theory, have been viewable from 10 o'clock Central European time or 9 o'clock uh, GMT. We're both the same, by the way. Um, so it should have been viewable from then. So I'm hoping I'll have my my I'll, I will have my normal. What was that? I will have my normal stuff. And then I'm hoping that uh, there'll be another one later today that you can look at as well. So hopefully, if all goes well, there will be another one. Speed limit, 15 miles an hour. Might not be a speed limit of 15 miles an hour. Then they, they, we, we might get away with not using that speed limit. I'm going in here. We've got a restaurant in here. This... What kind of restaurant is this? Looks a bit... I don't, I don't know. A good, good coast... Before I go selling my goods to any kind of restaurant, I'm going to run around and just make sure this is a reputable establishment. I will not be selling my goods to a non-reputable establishment. Okay, it does look pretty reputable. It does look pretty good. I think I think we can accept that this is not a bad place. Uh, we want to go in here, so hang on. Bring that. Check finances. Rough R. So we can check our finances. Construction costs 43000 how much did I spend on that water tank? I thought that I, I thought that was like five thousand. I got a bad feeling about this. Uh, it wasn't decorated. It was miscellaneous, wasn't it? Five thousand, and then four thousand there. Why on earth did that cost so much? Does anybody know why I spent I, I, five thousand? I spent on that. Oh, the penny drops. Look. Change placement height. Because I didn't have the high, the, 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 the thing open here, I couldn't see how much it was costing me. Right? Look at the different amounts that this, this it collides with an object. Put it there, it's 5,300. But then, the, my goodness me, the price goes up. Terrain cannot be deformed here. Deformation failed. 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 There. 16,000 right there. Right? So, some, some of this... Change placement height. Wait a minute. So, you got grid snapping. Press C. Grid snapping. Okay, not really sure about that. Uh, rotate. Space. Reset camera. Cannot be placed. Deformation failed. But no, I'm I'm sort of looking through here in places. And for there, look, look at that. In order to deform the terrain to fit that one, there's forty-eight thousand nine hundred forty-nine thousand dollars. That's where we went wrong. <laughs> We've just gone and spent fifty grand on raising up the level of the terrain right here. So <laughs> There's something I want to do now. I want to sell it. How do I sell? I, 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 oh, I know what I need to do. I need to go to my garage over here. And then we want to go through like this. Uh, owned items. Is that right? Let me go to my owned items. Miscellaneous. Right. No, I, I've got to go to my garage, I think. And I've got to go through it like this. Yeah. Same as what we did previously. There we go. Right. <laughs> uh, yes. The vehicle or tool has been sold. Right. Now, one last thing that we want to do before we go and sell this stuff a minute. Is, uh, it doesn't really matter what we get. Let's let's get the sandcastle, shall we? Unfortunately, this terrain has now been permanently changed. So it, it's going to stay there. Now, this is 200. I can put 200 up there. 
I can spend 4,200 building the sandcastle here and deforming the terrain slightly. So you, you can't... You, you, it's a good idea to have the F1 thing open when you go into your barn in order to be able to, um, to, to check how much it is. But I did just try to switch it off then when I was in it, and it didn't let me do that. So I go here now, and I go to placeables, decoration, right here. Look, I, I don't have anything. I press F1, it's not coming up. You've got to do that before you go in, okay? So I press F1 now. You can't see it unless you... Oh, there we go. Look, see? Pick up object. Oh, I can pick up the road signs. Ha <laughs> ha! Awesome. Uh, now I've got it. Right, I th then I can go into here. This tells me all of my different controls, but it also gives me the price. It's telling me the price. Second one down on the left-hand side is telling me the price. There. All right, it goes from 200 It goes up to three, like $4,000 right there. So I spent fifty grand putting down a water tank that I didn't actually want. Which... <laughs> that's... That is such a spectacular start. That really is. That is absolutely beautiful. I am very, very proud of us for doing that. I am genuinely, genuinely delighted that we went and spent 50 grand on a brand new water tank. So let's stop right there a minute and we will tip this one out. And we get some of our 50 grand back. Selling to the restaurant right there. So we got, uh, I forgot to see how much we had in that trailer. We had some. And... So we're tipping that one out there. That is 9,286 in income right there. And if we have a look here, this is still on 1,160. That's started to drop down a bit. I don't know how quickly it changes. But anyway, I'm going to stop right there. I'm not going to do anything else. And I will come back. Hopefully there will be another episode for you later on today where we can start taking another look at some of the other stuff. Maybe we could do a mission or something like that. Anything at all. Who knows? We are in Farming Simulator 19. <laughs> this is so awesome. This is so spectacular. And yes, I am a little bit excited about this. But anyway, if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.